Hi, Scrolling Along with Susan here. I am back showing you the latest project that I'm working on. This is a commissioned piece for someone that wanted a log cabin wall hanging to put on the outside of their log cabin. So I looked on the internet and I found general shapes of log cabins, but I've really created this pattern kind of on the go. So I wanted to show you what I've done so far. I've done a little bit on the scroll saw, I've done a lot on the table saw and the chop saw, and a lot of sanding. Here's what I've done so far. I've used pallet wood for most of the construction of this log cabin. And the long pieces have been run through the planer and then cut on the table saw two inches wide. And at the ends here, I have cut on the scroll saw and then used my sander to sand the ends. I've also cut the ends of the log that make it look like it's going the other direction with the scroll saw. What I've done is I, I drew a circle on here, stack cut it three thick, cut it on the scroll saw close to the line, and then take it over to my sander to get a more perfect round shape up to that line. And I've stained these walnut and the pallet wood, this is 16, about 16 inches long and about 17 inches tall by the time that I'm done. And all of this, I've also used my uh, chop saw to cut it at a 45 degree angle for the roof, as well as the roof pieces here. They're going to go here. And the other little pieces that I've used, cut these on the chop saw for the side door and dormer. Put these back up here. And then they also have an octagon window at the top. And then I cut this also on my scroll saw to show you the support on the back. Again, using pallet wood. I have two supports on the back and three supports running this direction. That's also so I can put a hanger here so it can be hung on the outside of the um, log cabin and glued this down as well as screwing it down so everything has got good support. I glue it along the way. A lot of the small pieces like this that I need to handle as one piece I use super glue and then I'll be using the good tight bond two or you could use three to glue everything together along with the screws because I don't want this coming apart. Here I'm just showing you how I pre-drilled the holes marking the bit with a piece of tape for depth. Then I used a countersink bit and then a Phillips screwdriver bit to drill each screw into the pieces of wood. Don't forget to sand, sand, and sand before and then also wipe off the residue before trying to stain. And I'm using gunstock color for the stain for the front and the back, trying to leave some parts unfinished to ensure a better glue up, although you really don't have to because it's going to be so thin and the glue is so strong it's going to hold anyway. Here's another fun part of construction that I like. I use liquid nails, just regular construction adhesive. And this is I'm making the chimney now. And put a nice big coat, thick coat, on the chimney area. Um, make sure that it's all even. Then I have just taken regular aquarium rocks, larger sized, and press them into the construction adhesive. You let it dry and then you continue on the other two sides. And there you have a nice chimney. I am in Inkscape, which is a free app that you can upload. And I have typed in the words that I want to use, chose the font of Mr. Earl BT, and I choose inches, and then you go up to the arrow, highlight them all, make sure that you go object to path, then I did object ungroup once I found out what size I wanted to use for each one of them. Then I can highlight one letter and look up here and see that it is about the size that I want it to be. I want it to be under two inches 
and it's about one inch long. So it's two inches length and actually one inch width. And that is correct. So I'm going back, highlight them all, go back to object group, come down here because I don't want to waste a lot of ink, click on a lighter color, save it and print it out. There are many ways to attach your pattern to the wood in order to cut items out. I use the blue painter's tape, glue, let it dry, and you're ready to go. I'm working with a quarter inch wood here so that it's somewhat substantial so that I can glue it on to the top of the log cabin. And just showing you a little bit of the, my technique on the scroll saw. Peel off the tape, do a light sanding, and I will be sealing it with golden oak stain. I'm sealing the whole thing with wipe on poly satin. I'm using a sponge and then I'm using a brush to get around all the detailed work. This is the hanger I decided to use for the back. It's a little bit sturdier and the holes weren't large enough for nice screws, so I just widened the holes a little bit and I'm ready to attach it on the back. I hope you enjoyed watching me make this log cabin wall hanging. And if you like what you see, click that like button. Thanks for watching.